we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Hey guys and welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Kristen and today I'm doing some Trash to Treasure farmhouse style DIYs. These have to be my new favorite ones, or at least a couple of these are my absolute new favorite DIYs I have ever made. I am so excited to show you guys how I made these on a super small budget. That's what I love, super small, inexpensive budget. Also in today's video, I do wanna thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And if you don't know what Skillshare is, I am about to tell you guys right now. So Skillshare is a online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Skillshare offers creative classes that are designed for real life. So you have kids like me, this is actually perfect because it gives you some great inspiration, but it also has short, short classes. They're like video lessons and class projects. They have photography, graphic design, crafts, and lifestyle are my absolute favorite ones. One great thing is there are no ads. Yay! Love having no ads when you want to go watch a video. Um, Skillshare is less than $10 a month with an annual membership, and members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes. So here is a look at like the photography. These are super fun. I actually just downloaded the Lightroom Classic, and I really need to get up on my A-game when it comes to Instagram. And one person that I did find that I absolutely love is Erin Boyle. She does minimalism and she teaches you the ways of how to let go of things um, and just how to enjoy what you have and the simplicity of life. And I just absolutely love this. I think she is fantastic and she just comes up with some amazing, amazing pointers that I think will help all of us, especially since, like we said, we've been stuck at home. We get bored. We get antsy. We really want to change up our lifestyle. We realize we have too much stuff laying around and we want to do something about it. So she is really great for that. And another person that I really, really enjoy watching on Skillshare is Lauren Cox. She does interior designing and she gives you some simple steps in how to perfect your space and how to proportion it and scale it and make it look super great. And I do want to let you guys know the first 1,000 people to use my link in the description box below will get a two-month free trial of Skillshare Premium. And members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes. Make sure you go and check Skillshare out. Link will be in the description box below. Okay, so onto this first DIY. I picked these houses in this heart up for 25 cents for all three of them. And this board was just laying in our garage. So I got my sander out, plugged it in, and started sanding all of these houses down. And you really didn't have to do this because I'm just going to be using chalk paint to paint these. But sometimes it just helps a little bit so you don't get all the bleed through with the color. And sometimes you can only, you can sometimes once in a while get away with just one coat of paint. These I actually did do two coats just because of the streakiness. I'm using the Rust-Oleum chalk paint in linen white. It's all I have right now so that is just what I'm going with until I use it up completely. It's a tiny bit runny and I don't like the way that it does show the lines a little bit more. So people do ask me if I like this better than other chalk paint I have used. The answer is no. This is probably my least favorite one I have used. I have also used the Kills chalk paint from Walmart and that seems to work out pretty well and I love my go-to Waverly chalk paint. Um, also I've been using Dixie Bell chalk paint. I love that stuff. It is absolutely amazing. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's amazing. So now I just used some vinyl cutouts from my silhouette. Um, I also have a Cricut, and I know people want to see some videos on those. And I, you'll see some on Cricut for sure. I'm not sure about silhouette because I really don't know how to use a machine just to cut vinyl. So I thought Home Sweet Home would look super cute on here. I actually had a subscriber tell me I should do this. I'm almost pretty sure it was my girl Jane Doe and I know that's not your name but we'll just keep it secret because obviously <laughs> it's just a secret um, but I'm almost positive it was you that said I should do this and you were absolutely right and I think this is such a cute little idea. I'm using this boxwood greenery from Walmart and I'm just going to be just taking out a little piece of it and hot gluing it right to the center and wrapping some twine around it. Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright Oh You and I We got it oh, 
And then for the piece of wood, I'll just be using this steel color when the wave blade chalk paint. And I just did one coat and I thought that was just good enough for this. I could have definitely did two because the wood color was showing through just a little bit, but I actually liked the way it looked. And the lighting is terrible here. I tried everything. This was like five minutes of me trying to fix the lighting in here. So I didn't show a whole lot of that. Now I'm just going to take some hot glue. I'm using Sure Bonder glue sticks. And they work amazing because these did not fall apart. I'm not sure exactly which ones they are. Um, but I will look and link them in the description box if you guys want to check them out. Glue gun is also a dual temp by Sure Bonder as well. I know I never talk about stuff like that in my videos and I have so many questions about it. So I just thought that I would try to just get everything out right here and right now. This, I think, is so stinking cute, and I only spent 25 cents on this. How crazy is that? 25 cents for this cute little sign. This next DIY was a Goodwill find. This sign was 309 and I loved the way that the frame looked. I thought it was super cute. The inside is actually like a stone type. I'm not really exactly sure what it is, but I think it's so cute. And I was like, I have to use this sign and I have to spray paint it black. So I did use the Color Place spray paint in black. And this is from Walmart, 97 cents. But I think this stuff works amazing. And I wouldn't buy any other black spray paint. Using my Rust Oleum white chalk paint. I'm not even going to go over that because I've used it quite a few times in this. Um, and I'm just going to use do this white. I actually think I only painted this. No, I painted it twice because it was a hot mess. And Dollar Tree has these wall decals. Super cute. I tried using this for a different DIY a while back and I couldn't find anything that fit this perfect. I wanted a square and I want it to look good. These, this took me forever and I don't know why. I'm just really, it takes me forever with these decals because I want it to be perfect, especially since it was cut in half. So I did have to take off the other one and redo it just because it was a tiny bit off and it bothered me. Um, but this is so cute. And this only this costs under five bucks for a sign, and I think that is a steal. this and next DIY I'm using these wood pieces these are two by two by 42s I picked these up at a garage sale for two dollars for all of them so they were kind of bowed out they weren't perfect but you know what two bucks for a bunch of this wood I will take it and I will make it work or I will have my husband make it work <laughs> somehow so I am going to be making a ladder and not just any old ladder a cute little hanging ladder I know exactly where I want to put it I just have to finish painting a wall before I can actually hang it so the middle pieces of the ladder, I know they're called something, and I know 100 people will be like, this is what they're called, so go for it. Uh, I'm just measuring these out in 10 inches, so then I can cut them with a saw. So if you don't have a saw, I heard that the little hack saws from the Dollar Tree work amazing, so if you do actually need to use them, they work good. Next, I just laid everything out to try to figure out how far up and how far, how far down I wanted the middle pieces of the ladder. So I was really picky on this for some reason. I don't know why, 
um, I just wanted them to work because I'm going to be adding 10 little buckets and so I didn't want them to touch each other so I did kind of spread these middle pieces out quite a bit and I know that I could have added like more rods or like I said whatever you want to call the middle piece of the ladder. I'm going to have to look it up and post whatever they're called right here so I know. So once we are done, this ended up being about a 35 inch long ladder and the rungs, since now we know what they are called, the top and the bottom one are about six inches away and then in between each of them are about 12 inches. We are just using a high tech, amazing nail gun. Um, I'm, I do not like using a nail gun, but this one wasn't really that bad and I didn't mind because um, my husband did most of the nailing. I just, I don't know why I don't like it. Um, so I probably should have done this before. I actually probably should have did a lot of this beforehand and now I probably know sand first, stain first before you put everything together. It all worked out in the end so no biggie. Rust-Oleum wood stain in this Kona and I am just using a rag and staining this. I don't normally use stain because it's just so messy and it just takes forever to dry and I am so impatient um, but I definitely used it and I really love this color and the way it turned out. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done, oh the good times just begun. So the next thing for this is using these little buckets from the Dollar Tree. They're so cute. They're little galvanized twine buckets. They come around I think every single year but I absolutely love these. And there is actually a little line in these buckets or on the backs of these or on the sides of these. And I just put the hot glue along that and just glue them. So this is sure, I want to say this is sure binder glue stick. I'm almost 100% positive. If not, it's Gorilla Glue and they held on amazing. Yes, I am wearing a dress while I craft. We can all wear dresses, <laughs> no biggie. Uh, it's super, I, it was just one of those days like we were at the pool, we were having a good day. And I just threw this on over the top of my bathing suit and decided to do some crafting because the lighting was really nice. Using some greenery from Walmart, I'm just throwing them in these buckets. I'm not sure what these are called. This was way too full. You see me take some of that out because that was just not okay. But the boxwood is always so pretty to use and I absolutely love using that. All right, you guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love if you hit that subscribe button down below. And also, don't forget to check out Skillshare. My link will be in the description box below. And just remember, the first 1,000 people that use it will get a two-month free trial of Skillshare Premium. So get your creativity on. Check out some fun, fun video lessons and class projects. I definitely recommend that, especially if you were just having one of those days and you want to find something new to do or someone new to watch. This is it for you. Uh, but that's it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I want